In this video we're going to take a look at how to stream live TV to the internet using Cast for Me, uh, specifically using its HTTP Live feature. So I'll run up Cast for Me and you'll see that um, I've already configured a device with 35 channels. Um, if you'd like to see how I got this far, there's a video on our how-to page on the website which shows uh, how I set these channels up. Um, by default uh, all the channels have HTTP and DLNA access enabled. This is really for streaming across the local area network. If you want to stream to the internet, you really want to look at HTTP Live. Um, so I'm going to go through a demonstration of setting up one of these channels to stream to the internet um, so you can see how easy, easy it is and you'll have it up and going on your server in no time. So um, I want to tick this box here, publish to the internet using HTTP Live. Uh, HTTP Live is kind of like um, a series of small video files that are continuously uploading to your web server. Um, and after a certain number of files, it starts deleting the oldest one. Um, and it's really straightforward for you to set this type of stream up. And then you can have as many clients as your web server can support. Um, so for this particular demonstration, um, I'll just use uh, 1.5 megabit per second and go with a resolution of 640 by 360. Um, and so next up, I have to specify where the stream is going to end up on my server. So I'm going to, for this demonstration, use my cast for me web server. And I'll put the stream in an HLS directory to keep it tidy. And this channel is HGTV. And the, uh, the streams always have the extension .m3u8. Um, so this HTTP live stream is a series of of small files. They're going to be sent to my web server using one of a few mechanisms available. Uh, in my particular case I'm going to use secure FTP. You might have had to use FTP or if your server, your web server was running on the local machine you might have just been a matter of copying files to a different directory. Likewise you might have had them on a share if your um, server was on another machine on your network. In this case though as I mentioned I'm going to use SFTP I have to let it know uh, the name of my web server, castforme.com, um, and I have to enter my username and password. I'll use my demo account, my password, and then I have to let the application know whereabouts on the file system on my web server do I need to store the files. So. I'm going to use var www.castforme.com slash hls and then a good thing to do is test the connection. This is effectively going to connect to the server you've named using the username and password you've specified and check that the specified directory exists. It takes a few seconds And there we go, it's successfully confirmed that the directory exists and it can log in. So I'll hit OK. And it's actually going to go and start the stream immediately. So HGTV is now streaming. Um, if we go look at the activity log page, um, you'll see it's saying it's streaming via HLS um, to this particular address. And you'll see what happens is there's basically a series of files that are just continuously being sent to your web server. Um, if we just go back into the settings, let me just copy that URL. And to demonstrate it, um, let's just start a new browser window. Let me just drag one in. Oops, here we go. Now, Edge is a really good browser for testing uh, M3U8 streams, HTTP live streams, because you can just post, paste the URL into the address bar and it'll start playing it. So there we go, it's, uh, it's streaming 
live TV to this URL. Pretty cool, huh?